Welcome back. You're still watching One News Now. I'm Pauline Verzosa. Now in the weather, the low-pressure area near Palawan has dissipated. What triggers rains for some parts of the country right now is the northeasterly surface wind flow. That's the initial blast of the northeast monsoon, or Amihan. Recall that Pagasa has already declared the end of the Habagat season. And with this, isolated light rains are expected over Batanes and Babuyan Islands. Metro Manila and the rest of the country may also expect the same, but due to localized thunderstorms. A Senate witness claimed that Alice Guo is a spy from China. The embattled dismissed mayor also announced that she will not pursue her re-election bid in Bambantarlac. Brian Basa has that report. It's another Senate hearing full of bombshells. Committee Chair Senator Risa Ontiveros reveals they had interviewed a certain Wang Fugui, a former cellmate of Xie Zhidiang, the self-confessed Chinese spy in the Al Jazeera documentary, who said Alice Guo was also a Chinese spy herself. Wang says he was a good friend of Xie since they were together in prison for more than a year. He was then entrusted by Xie to handle some of his files where he found Guo's classified documents. In the same interview, Wang was asked how he concluded that Guo is a spy. Wang also divulges how Guo became a spy. Wang Wang was also asked by Senator Antiveros if Alice Guo was planted in the Philippines as a spy when she was still a child or was only tapped to work for the Chinese government when she first became mayor of Bamban. Wang goes as far as to say that Guo's campaign for mayor was funded by Chinese state security. Wang was also asked if Philippine offshore gaming operators have something to do with spying operations. Wang insists there is a connection. Wang names a certain Ma Dong Li, who he says is a member of the Chinese Communist Party. This man is allegedly Xie Zhidiang's contact in the Ministry of State Security. Wang thinks that Ma Dong Li is also Guo Huaping's handler and link to Xie Zhidiang. More alarming, based on travel records obtained by Senator Antiveros, Wang, Ma Dong Li and Xie Zhidiang have all traveled to the Philippines before. Despite Wang's interview, Alice Guo maintains she is not a spy. She also denies knowing Ma Dong Li. Tulungan niyo po ako mag-imbestiga, hindi po ako spy. At para naman po, hindi po ako magmungang kawawa talaga. Wala po ako handler, uh, hindi po ako spy, hindi ko po siya kilala. Guo also didn't file her COC for re-election today, contrary to what her lawyer said. Uh, Your Honor, uh, haharapin ko po muna yung mga accusations po sa akin. Uh, ninising ko po muna yung sarili ko po. At um, para maging fair din po para sa mga constituents ko po right. na minamahal ko po. Very good. For News 5, I'm Brian Basa and we are One News. LaSalle Green Archer Kevin Kimbao is poised to snatch his second straight MVP plum in UAAP men's basketball. Kiambao currently leads the UAP in scoring with 16.4 points, laced by 8.9 rebounds, 5.4 assists, and 1.29 steals. He is also fresh from leading LaSalle in breaking UP Fighting Maroons' winning streak in the first round of men's basketball. But for Kiambao, he says his top priority right now is to defend their championship title.
And those are the top stories of the hour. I'm Pauline Verzosa. We are One News.